You must be Hank. <laughs> you ran our country. <laughs> America. Hank, I understand you told your father you hate him. Hate's a strong word, Mr. President. That's why I used it. Yep, hate my dad. You may say you hate your daddy, but I seem to recall the Egyptians once said they would never accept Israel's right to exist. Now, uh, I think we all know how that turned out. Now, why don't we go inside and talk things over? I'm not going in there. I hate the man. Huh. Feels good every time I say it. Mr. Hill? Jimmy Carter? Yes, this is Jimmy. Now, how about I come inside and visit with you about what your son said? I'd love to meet a war hero face to face. Uh -huh. Assume the position, Mr. President. They well, they, they, there's no need for that. I've been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Uh -huh. <sighs> Look, the Secret Service didn't want me to come in here at all. Th th this was a compromise. I'd have done the same if I was in your shoes. Same idea. Bigger gun. Good. Well, something we can agree on. Let's build on that. Why do you think your son said he hates you? He's a hateful crybaby. He was crying the second he popped his head out of his mama. Like I told your father, in these highly charged situations, I find it's helpful to say something positive about the other side. Sadat, for example, thought Begin had excellent posture. Yeah? What'd my dad say about me? What? Why don't you go first? Come on. Deep down, just between you and me, I won't tell anyone. You don't really hate your son. Yes, I do. But you don't... Head to toe. No, really. And his wife. Look, he was a baby once. Everyone hated that baby. Hated a baby? Okay, how about this? Say there was a magic button you could push that would make Hank disappear forever. Everything else in the world would say the same. But Hank, your son, would never have existed. Now, I'm serious here, mister. Would you push that button? I ain't got to answer no hypothetical situation. Would you push that button? <laughs> Not yes. My father said he wouldn't obliterate me? His words? Now, do you recognize his right to exist? Wonderful. You both seem to prefer a universe in which the other party hasn't magically disappeared. I think we have a framework for peace. Now, how do you feel about going outside? Ah, I still got some nails left. If you come outside, I'll let you shoot at my bulletproof limo. Hank, Cot, I see a new era of trust and understanding between you. Not so fast, choppers. We had a deal. I gets to shoot me a bulletproof motorcade. I, I think you got more important things to do right now than shoot up my car. No, I don't. Look, you're not shooting up my car. Hold on. Now, Dad, did he really tell you you could shoot up his car? With my nail gun. Is this true, sir? Well, well I think I, I may have put it on the table, but... But it seems to me the important thing I'm is... sorry, you gave your word. Oops. They told me it was bulletproof. 